As to Lawan was uh, uh, abducted by the members of the Boko Haram over two weeks ago. And they threatened that they will kill him if two million euro was not given. But at the end of the day, actually, they, it seemed that they were not really interested in, in money. They were really out to kill him. He was beheaded yesterday because last week they called the wife on Thursday and they told her that uh, they will be beheading him on Saturday. So they didn't do it on Saturday. They waited until Monday, yesterday, and then they did it. The same yesterday as well, a pastor, an uh, LCCN pastor, was also killed in Geren by kidnappers, as if the two were actually planned, because they happened the same day and probably close to almost the same time. I wonder the kind of country we are living in. And people still continue to give impression that Christianity is not under attack. Christianity is under attack, particularly in Nigeria. How can two pastors be killed on the same day in the same state? So we don't know what will happen because, and we don't know the next person that they will be targeting. And I think the world should listen to our cries that we are not being protected by our government. Negotiations were going on to uh, procure the release of uh, our dear uh, brother, uh, Reverend Andibi. Uh, today is a very, very sad day for uh, the governor, not only the governor, the entire people of Adama State, because uh, uh, the loss of every life diminishes uh, diminishes us, uh, no matter uh, the circumstances, uh, we were hoping that it wouldn't have come to this uh, sad and tragic end. Uh, we would like to um, also condole the close family of uh, uh, Andimi, uh, who has been courageous, who has said that in spite of his, him being in captivity, he has given everything, uh, he has left everything in the hands of God and in the hands of his uh, captors.